Count me down again, Jake. All right, here's what we got. What's up, it's Brandon from Tattooing 101 and this is how you prevent your fake skin from ripping. Now before we get into it, I wanna to touch base on why the fake skin rips. It could be because of your hand speed or your voltage and also your angle that you're holding your tattoo machine. So if your hand speed is too slow for your voltage, it's going to completely over traumatize the fake skin and cause it to rip. Now this is a good thing because it'll help you teach yourself exactly the hand speed that you need match with your voltage to be able to pull a clean line on the actual client without causing too much trauma. And a lot of other fake skins out there are really rubbery, so it causes a really big issue to not know exactly when you're causing too much trauma. It's really, really hard to cut into these ones. So I like to use real skins because if you cause too much trauma, they clearly just rip, which I'm about to show you now. So you can see here when you're going too deep, it actually does cut up the fake skin. And I almost penetrated completely through this, which this is about four millimeters. So I was going about 3.5 millimeters into this fake skin, which is way too deep. So that's one way you could tell if you're going too deep. I'm gonna show you on the actual real skins so you could clearly see exactly what you want to look for whenever you're tattooing. Okay, to show you what happens here, I'm going to put another piece of fake skin underneath this so it doesn't drill into my tape. So first I'll show you going too deep into the real skins and you're going to see a drastic change between this kind and this kind. So if you go too deep in the real skins, you could see it completely cuts through it to where you could see the bottom, all the ink from the bottom, so it completely cut it. Now right beside this, I'm gonna show you going the appropriate depth, but going with a really slow hand speed at 10 volts again. So you can see here, that I completely cut through it, but it didn't go the whole way through the bottom. So that's how you could tell if you're overworking the fake skin. And now I get on to how to resolve this issue. You're going to practice with your hand speed and set the appropriate voltage. So I'm gonna turn this down to 7.5. So I know that with my hand speed, it'll be between a 7.5 and an eight. And you can see with these bigger needles that whenever you go to pull a line, all the extra ink, that's just because it has a big reservoir to be able to push that, to push the extra ink because the needle size into the fake skin. So you can see here that I'm floating the needle instead of riding the tube. If I was riding on the tube, it would just pour ink completely everywhere. But because I'm floating the needle, it's just going exactly where my needle is. So I'm still able to see and it's not mudding up the fake skins completely. But no matter what, if you're using a bigger needle, it's going to dump ink on your actual fake skin just because of the reservoir. So as you can see here, that even if I pull it apart, it's still not cut in this area. So that's what you wanna look out for whenever you're doing your fake skins. So if it's cut up like this, that means you need to change your voltage or the depth. And this is how you resolve it to be able to do perfect fake skins. And also fake skins are a lot more durable than actual human skin. So if you're cutting up your fake skins like that, it would absolutely destroy an actual client and leave problems for healing. If you want personal help from me and a structured plan to help you reach your goal to becoming a professional tattoo artist, make sure you check out our Artist Accelerator program in the link in the description.